liquors, liqueurs, and spirits. Welcome back, guys. We're going to talk about the liquors, liqueurs, spirits, beer, wine. A lot of this you can learn on your own, or I just don't have the knowledge to give you so much, and it just, it'll just take up a lot of time. So we're just going to get real basic right now, just to familiarize yourself with, like, the bar and the well stuff. Liquor is a, an alcoholic beverage containing ethanol. It's made by distilling ethanol, really, by way of fermenting grain, fruit, or vegetable. You let the grains ferment, and then you distill the ethanol, pretty much. A liqueur is a liquor with uh, added flavoring, and it's usually fruits or cream, herbs, nuts, flowers, and, and it's, it's bottled with added sugar. So usually they're sweeter, the cores are usually a little bit heavier and like I said pretty much they're liquor with added sugar and flavors pretty much and, and, and it's usually it's the sugar that separates it because I mean you have some flavors infused in like vodkas or whatever but they're not liqueurs because they're not sugar the, the, the most popular liquors and I like to classify them in this way I call them European white liquors and that's vodka and gin uh, then you have your, I call them Latin, I have rum and tequila, and I call those the Latin white. Whiskies, which I have them as bourbon, Canadian, Scotch, and Irish. And those are my whiskies in a basic sense. And bourbon is the Kentucky bourbon. And then you have also have different American whiskies, which are not from the bourbon region. But for bar purposes, we're going to consider all American whiskey bourbon. But like I said, there's Canadian rye whiskey, American bourbon, Scotch, and Irish whiskeys. So like I said, I have my four whites and my four whiskeys. And that's how I usually keep track of or teach people, you know, the different spirits categories. And like I said, we're not going to go in depth on how they're made. And you can learn all these on your own, but... You know, and I, and I think bartending, like I said, once you get to bartending, you can learn that. Because I didn't learn most of that stuff until I was well eight, nine years into bartending. And um, it can help you a bit to be better as a bartender. So like I said, you're always learning. You know, you'll learn what's popular. And like I said, usually I go down by what's popular by vodka, gin, rum, tequila. Those are in order of what I think they're as popular. And, and I keep them together. I keep my vodka and my gin together, and I keep my rum and my tequila together. And like I said, I, I keep my bourbon and my Canadian together, and that's my American whiskeys. Then you have your European whiskeys, which is Scotch and Irish, and I keep those together. And, and that's how I set up my bar. And, and it's good in your head to know where these are, and it's part of being organized. And, I, and I, that's what I say just to familiarize yourself. And I would put like some basic stuff in my well and these will be my well you know and a couple other things to add to the well triple sec which we discussed as a mixer well triple sec is a um an orange flavored liqueur pretty much i think it's vodka based and vodka is a common uh spirit for liqueurs because it's a it's a neutral spirit which means it doesn't have it's a lot of strong characteristics as far as flavoring so whatever you add to it will take over the you know flavoring so if you add orange to vodka orange will be predominant flavor and uh the sour mix you had to have that in your bar in your well uh your grenadine uh roses lime juice vermouth sweet vermouth and dry vermouth a uh, popular brand is martini and rossi so and those are for martinis manhattans rob roy's drinks that call for vermouth and like I said, these are this would be my pretty much very basic well setup. Like I say, a well drink, if you want to know, is pretty much the cheapest liquor that you want to have access to regularly. Usually, your well is situated where you are going to be most of the time, and it's usually right in front of you. And you can just grab it. And like I said, I usually go from left to right: vodka, gin, rum, tequila, bourbon, Canadian, Scotch, Irish. That's how I usually set up my well across, if you have the room. Like I said, all bars are set up differently, so, you know, you go, you'll have to set it up your own way. And other bartenders set up their bars differently, so it's no, no, by no means it's a, a law. But, like I said, it's a good way to start off setting it up because it just, it to me, it's just sensible. And, uh, like I said, let's just go over a couple of terms. On the rocks, 
are over. If someone orders a drink on the rocks or over, that means they want it on ice. So on the rocks, rocks would be ice, so on ice. Uh, over is over ice, which is, you know, exactly the same term. So on the rocks or over, or it means that they want the drink served with ice. Uh, straight or neat means they want the drink served uh, without anything. They just want the drink itself. They just want Jack Daniels in a glass. That's what straight or neat means. And I think in communicating the bar like that, I think that's it's a distinction because I think up means up means chilled in a martini glass with no ice. I make the distinction of up and neat. Neat means not chilled. Up means in a martini glass, chilled, no ice. And that's the distinction I make between those water back, coke back. That means they want a separate glass of that mixer. So if they want a, a Jack Coke water back, they want a Jack Daniels with Coke on ice, and then they want a glass of water on the side. So it could be a Coke back, root beer back, orange back, beer back, whatever it may be. Dirty. Dirty means you add olive juice to it. And like I said, some people want slightly dirty, some people want filthy dirty. And you know, slightly dirty is less olive juice, filthy dirty is a little bit more. Perfect is a term that means you want sweet vermouth and dry vermouth, usually equal parts, unless they tell you otherwise. So if they want a Manhattan, a Manhattan perfect or a perfect Manhattan, they want uh, a Manhattan with both dry vermouth and sweet vermouth. Uh, a press or a Presbyterian. Someone wants a crown press. It's usually uh, a combination of carbonated beverages. Common is Sprite and soda or Sprite and ginger ale or soda and ginger ale. Usually I do Sprite and soda or Sprite and water when someone asks for a, a press, but I would ask. A sour is just, if someone orders a vodka sour, they want vodka and sour mix, and that's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, a stone sour is a sour mix with orange juice added. So if someone wants a Jack Stone sour, they want Jack Daniels sour mix and orange juice. A flag is a garnish of an orange and cherry. Very common uh, garnish. It's usually garnishes uh, drinks with um, orange juice or fruit punch drinks or sour mix drinks. Drinks with sour mix. Uh, get a flag. So a flag is a very, very common garnish, and it's it's a, a combination of an orange and a cherry. Like drinks with Sprite or soda, usually citrus garnishes, tonic, usually a lime or a lemon garnish. And those are pretty much automatic. Cranberry juice is a lime garnish, pretty much. Uh, grapefruit juice is a lime garnish. Uh, pineapple juice is usually a cherry garnish. Uh, all sour drinks are shaken. All drinks with milk are shaken or mixed. Bloody Marys, you never shake. Mix those from uh, tin to glass. You just familiarize yourself with the liquors. Uh, like I said, liqueurs are just, you know, drinks with sweetener added. You know, I mean, liquor with sweetener and flavoring added. Uh, like peach schnapps, apple pucker. Uh, Grand Monnier is a brandy based liqueur uh, with orange flavoring and sugar added. Um, amaretto, almond flavored. Uh, Kahlua, coffee flavored. Bailey's, cream flavored. Well, uh, I'll see you guys uh, for the next episode. Some drink mixes. Yeah, hey, woohoo! All right. Learn how to mix those drinks.